Hey everyone, it's Nicole Fox from the Bunch Library. So today I'm going to talk to you about our image resources and a little bit about how you can use them in your classes. So as you move your classes into an online environment, you might want to consider embedding images into your Blackboard course page. Because having some visual content can help you engage your students and break up sections of text and just help your students picture what you're talking about. Um, so just a note, these image resources can be used in all classes, not just the fine arts ones. And while you could, of course, use Google Image Search and other image search engines to find pictures, um, you can find some really interesting, high-quality images from trustworthy sources you might not have found otherwise. So today I want to talk to you about two places to find images through the library. Um, the first is our image databases, including ArtStore and Bridgman. Um, and then I want to talk to you about our Finding Images Research Guide. Okay, so let's get started with our databases. So I'm going to go to the library's website. And I'm going to go to our A to Z database list, which is right here. Um, and under all database types, I'm just going to select images. That lets you narrow down to just our image databases. I'm going to select on ArtStore. All right, ArtStore is a great image database with over 2.5 million images has a huge variety from art, but also tons of historic photos, humanities collections, and more. So I'm just going to try typing in searching by keyword. I can also do advanced search right there. Uh, one thing to note, if you want to download an image, uh, you will need to be logged in. So I'm already logged in right now. Um, but if you haven't used ArtStore before, there's a little button here to create an account. All right. So we got some good results right here, but just like with any other database, you can use the filters over here to narrow things down. So we got geography, classification, and it's really helpful. Um, but I'm just going to hit photographs. All right, so I'm going to pick one. It's a really high quality image. You can see by how much you can zoom in. Um, and what's great is that it's got all this associated metadata with it. So you know who made it, you know what it's called, you know when it was made. Um, and what they also do is list all the rights information so that you know who to contact if you'd like to use this in a publication, which is not something you find on the internet. Uh, so if we wanted to download this to use in our class, uh, remember you have to be logged in, and then you just hit download item and then accept, and that will let you download that image. Um, you can also browse the ArtStore collections. So uh, back on the ArtStore main page, under Browse, I'm going to hit ArtStore collections. And then you can see they're kind of curated uh, galleries of items. I'm going to hit Teaching Resources right here. Um, you can browse their tags right here. They have all sorts of different tags, but I'm just going to type in history. All right. 808 results of music history. And then you can just kind of, you know, get some inspiration for pictures to use from their, their course guides, basically. So here's one for with some different music history related images that could be helpful. Another thing that's really helpful to search for are these virtual reality panoramas. You just type in virtual reality panoramas and hit search. And then it will bring up these really cool um, panoramas of these different images, these different places across the world. So if you were supposed to go study abroad somewhere, but you weren't able to, you might be able to find a good virtual reality panorama. Let's so hit present. Um, and then you see the panorama of these different historic sites, which is really amazing. Um, you can, there's a link right here so you can easily share it with your students. Um, but they have, they have a good variety of different ones. Um, so check that out if you'd like to share that with your students. That could be really helpful. All right, so Bridgman is also another helpful resource. Um, Bridgman has maybe, it, it's a little bit similar to ArtStore, but it just has kind of a slightly different selection of images. So you can also search by keyword and narrow down by the filters, just like with ArtStore. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out was this subjects collection right here. So this is a little bit kind of like those ArtStore collections I was talking about. Um, but one thing that's helpful is that they have this conceptual images collection. So if you're trying to figure out how to 
uh, illustrate a concept like tolerance or justice or um, happiness or spirituality or things like that, they have these really helpful collections of conceptual images that you can use to illustrate some concepts that might be hard to illustrate otherwise. Um, so that's another helpful resource. I'm going to go back to the library. So uh, we also have the Finding Images Research Guide. So that's available right here under Research Guide. I'm going to scroll down to the Fs. Finding Images. Uh, so this is just a, an index of different helpful image resources across the internet. Um, so I've organized this by tab. So if you need information on copyright resources or citation for images or things like that, there's tabs for that. Um, but some of you may find the scientific and historic images tab really helpful. Um, one, one I really like is Phil, which is the public uh, image library from the CDC. So it has tons of uh, kind of public health related images. Um, like most other image databases, you can either search by keyword right here, or you can scroll down and browse some of their uh, collections that they've pointed out. Uh, for we have, we also have a bunch of historic image resources linked to right here. Um, so you might want to check those out if you're looking for some interesting things to illustrate moments in history. So the next time you need to illustrate something for your class, I hope you'll check out some of our image resources. Um, be sure to check out our online library resources research guide that I've linked to right here. Um, that's where we have more ways and information about how we can help you while you're teaching online. So thank you for listening and I hope you found this helpful.